Thornacic with that status for next season. Hibbs, on the other hand, looking to close the gap on the two Dundee sides, Dundee and Dundee United, in the hope of qualifying for the fifth place in Europe for next season. So we can be assured and certain of tremendous effort from both sides. Perfect overhead conditions, the pitch in good condition also, and a very enthusiastic crowd inside Easter Road. The Hibs fans clearly forgiving their favourites for losing on Wednesday night to Celtic in the Cup after a valiant effort. There's Craig Robertson and Graham Robertson at right back. Tortolano's header, there's McCarthy. Tortolano again. Paul Kane sending it wide. There's Weir. Good play from Weir, but challenged well by Ross Jack going back to help in defence. Quick, he loses a little player. Weir on the right for Hibbs. There he is again. Good turn inside. This is Kane. Evans takes over. Confident defending by Anderson, the ball breaks for Ross Jack to clear only as far as it all. Jack again. And the firm are leaving only one man in attack whenever they lose possession. Ross Jack that time going back to help in defence, leaving only John Watson up front. This is Evans. Coming through was Holt, there's Kane! And a fine save from McKellar. Good attacking play from Hibbs, bringing their support to life. There's Evans with a nutmeg going through, forcing the ball inside to Paul Kane with a first-time shot, well blocked by McKellar. North got bouncing ball, Gordon Hunter trying to get it to safety, but Ross Jack is content to accept the corner kick. Hunter had a little debate with Andy Gorham in goal. So the first corner here of the match for the Fernland. And there's going to be a substitution immediately by Hibbs. Paul Kane has taken an early knock. He is going off. The replacement will be George McCluskey. So the referee holding play up to allow McCluskey to come on. That's a bad blow for him, losing Paul Kane through injury so early in the match. This one for Torquay on the chase. Two very quick players in direct opposition, Joe Tortolano against Graham Robertson. Collins to Mitchell. Asking a lot of Collins in that tight corner. Evans with the header gets the break of the ball. Former Rotherham striker. Sending in the cross. It's headed on by McCluskey. And Bobby Smith did well for the Thurman in defence. This is Weir. And PD going inside. An indirect free kick has been awarded. Well, this is the kind of problem Mickey Weir presents to defences. The low centre of gravity, the very quick turn. Trying to get through there, past Bobby Smith. And the pitted on the way. He's won the indirect free kick right at the edge of the box. Free Douglas Hope organising the wall at 10 yard range. Put in by Orr. Up goes Evans! chance of the match so far. Gareth Evans, the liveliest striker on view at this stage of the match, getting a free header there as Neil Orr's free kick comes in. No one challenging Evans, but the header is off target. That's for McCluskey. Holding off Holt. There's Collins. They turn on the ball, the one movement, but it didn't come off. There's BD's hair. Now at all. 
Richie Rear, half chance to run at Smith. Then the early cross in, there's Evans. Well, Gareth Evans is certainly getting to some of these crosses, and that must be worrying to the defend and defence. John Watson's header. Castellano wins it, his BD. John Collins trying to play it towards McCluskey, but Graham Roberts is in the way. Mitchell, lots of time to play it back to Gorham. Another question at this stage in the match, the defences are well on top. There's Weir, now Orr. McCluskey. Collins got a touch. An orthodox stuff from John Holt, allowing Evans to win possession for Hibbs. There's McKellar taking it under pressure from McCluskey. Fine goalkeeping by Dave McKellar. A good play on the wide flank again by Evans, but McKellar getting up well to the cross and McCluskey powering in. trying to release Mark Smith and the fell on right but Sneddon is marking Mark Smith very closely indeed Holt to beating this is Weir plus his layoff and it's across the far side to Orr Good running again by Evans. Holding play up for Neil Orr again. An awkward outswinging cross. And it's in! Turned in the end by Mickey Weir. The smallest player on the field. And what a comedy of errors inside the six-yard box for Ben Thurman. 24 minutes gone, Dave McKellar, I'm sure his first day still believe that. It was the good play over on the right, Evans and Neil Orr together, Orr sending over a tantalising cross. Tortolano challenging, it broke high in there again, wasn't picked up in a feminine defence, bounced a couple of times, and then Mickey Weir got that looping header in at the post. Confident play from Mitchell. Push in the back by Bobby Smith. Another former Hibs player in the Dunfermline ranks. Along with Stuart BD. Ray plays forward with Rico. He's up ahead of Holt. Watson, there's Ross Jack, chance now for the Fernman. The closest yet from the Fernman. Good striking play by Ross Jack. It was set up for him by the head flick from John Watson, who has just eluded Gordon Ray. Jack striding forward on his left foot, the angle shot, and it's just wide of the post. Collins to Stedham. McCarthy's with Evans. Here's Weir, back to Orr, breaks off BD, one for throw for Hibbs, right on the corner flag. Here's Weir, losing minutes now, the first half, the second goal now for Hibbs would certainly make the task. And now impossible for them to come and hits on the corner kick. Ray and Mitchell immediately race forward into the box. John Holt goes back to marshal his defence. Gordon Ray.
away the near post. There's Tortolano. Ray helps it on. And a superb strike by George McCluskey. The final minute of the first half. George McCluskey makes it 2 0 to Hibbs. And what a magnificent volley this was. Set up from the corner kick from Tortolano. Headed on by Gordon Ray. Straight across to McCluskey on the full volley. And McKellar was helpless. Well, what a blow from Hibbs right on the half time whistle. And if the first goal was in any way unsatisfactory, that certainly makes up for it. A fine goal from Hibbs. Continuing their recent good run of results, which has seen only Celtic beat them in the last dozen matches. And there goes the half time whistle. Hibbs leading with a commanding lead. Mickey Weir got the first goal, an outstanding figure on the hip side, possibly in the first half. And the second goal coming from George McCluskey, and certainly one to save her. Weir's in the first instance coming from the looping cross from Nilor. A headed attempt by Joe Tortolano. Bad defending by the Inferno line, Weir to score. But that second goal, the corner kick from Tortolano, the head flick from Gordon Ray. And how about that? But a volley from George McCluskey. So the half time score. Hips two, Confirmland nil. So a huge contingent of Hips fans over on the far side, relishing that interval after the fine goal from George McCluskey. And Confirmland now facing a mighty uphill struggle. This is a 45 minute spell of immense importance for them. Head flick to Jack. Was Ross Jack again, but Andy Gorham's there for Hibbs. A clean catch once again from the international keeper. Handball by Evans. Indicated by the linesman on the other side. Evans appears to be protesting and it wasn't deliberate. There will be a hold up. Jim Leishman is out protesting about the time-wasting from Hibbs. Here's Mark Smith. Fouled by Snedden. Eddie May is getting ready to come on for Hibbs. Here's Graham Robertson. Free kick. Swept away by Snedden. The plus kick. But we have the chase. Bobby Smith getting back. The challenge still weird. Very dangerous in this position. Mickey Weir to make all the way himself. And then over carrying the ball behind for the goal kick. And there will be a hold up by him before they decide who's to come off. Peter Cormack waiting anxiously to see if Plusky can continue. I don't think he was the man who was going to come off. Now the substitution will be made, and it's George McCluskey who is being taken off. Clearly still groggy and in trouble after that injury. Yeah, Robertson locks it forward. Eric Ferguson sets off in chase, but Graham Mitchell's hardly been ruffled all afternoon. Fine exhibition of central defensive play. Here's Watson. Graham Robertson pulls it back to Morrison. Craig Robertson turning in the box. Eric Ferguson goes up with Hunter. Back with Holt. Crossing it wide. BD has possession for the Fernand. Good strike by BD. Cut off by him defence though in full flight. Here's Gareth Evans. Oh, BD. Robbed by Collins, or picks it up for Hibbs. Through the middle is Nuki Weary's onside. It's a great chance for the third for Hibbs. Challenged by McCarthy. And Nuki Weir looking ruefully back. He really should have done better with that. As the long ball came forward, Weir was on his own, but onside sprinting clear of the Felman defence. 
didn't take possession quickly enough, allowed McCarthy to get back with a challenge. There's Gordon Hunter. Points now looking perfectly safe for him with just two minutes left. Two goal lead and their European prospects enhanced by this afternoon's performance. Evans appeared to be fouled there by Morrison, but Ridley Hawk saw nothing amiss. There's Mark Smith now on the left. Testing the pace of Hunter. Well, Hunter's very quick indeed, and that's a foul on Smith. Two fast players, youngsters at that, Gordon Hunter and Mark Smith. The result is a free kick to Infernland and perhaps a late opportunity for the Infernland to find the net. BD back to Morrison. Well struck by Morrison, it came off the post. Well, Steve Morrison with the family's best effort of the afternoon, taking the short free kick, playing that in low, firmly at the post. Andy Gorham looked to be a little bit bemused by that, but it's rebounded to safety. Long ball for Watson to chase. Ray wins it for Hibbs. Hasn't been too troubled at the back this afternoon. Gordon Ray, the Hibbs captain alongside Graham Mitchell. Gordon Hunter also has done well, so has Alan Stedman in the back four. And there goes the final whistle, a comfortable win in the end for him. Thanks.